for a bit. Let's continue our experiment later. I agree. Let's breathe in, breathe out. Do you have any water there? Great. Do you know that our body, specifically our cells, adopt the occurrence in its environment? Of course, especially how they manage the nutrients and molecules in our body. We call them, ah, cell transport! You, let's unravel the science behind cell transport in Viva. Cell transport refers to the flow of molecules across cell membranes. There are two main types, the passive and active transport. Passive transport is like things happening naturally without needing any energy, while active transport is when you need to spend energy to make things move. But let's just focus on passive transport. There are two kinds of passive transport, which are diffusion and facilitator diffusion. Diffusion is the natural flow of molecules from high to a low concentration until an equal concentration is reached. Under diffusion, we have the simple diffusion and osmosis. Simple diffusion is like a tiny molecule sneaking through a thin barrier like a membrane, all on their own without needing any help of proteins or other structures. On the other hand, osmosis is the process by which the solvent moves from an area of lower solute to an area of higher solute concentration over the cell membrane, balancing the concentration on both inside and outside of the cell. Osmosis are defined based on their tonicity, which describes the capacity of a solution to increase the movement of water into or out of a cell. We call the solution a hypertonic if the concentration of solutes is higher than that inside the cell, making the water to move out of the cell, resulting the cell to shrink. Meanwhile, we call the solution hypotonic when the concentration of solutes is lower than that inside the cell. This causes water to move into the cell, making them to increase their size. Lastly, isotonic solution has the same concentration of solutes as the cell so there are no movement of water and the cell maintains its shape and size. Another kind of passive transport is the facilitated diffusion. It is the usage of channel proteins to help molecules move across a cell membrane. It opens up and lets specific molecules like water and ions pass through. It's like going downhill without using any energy. Overall, cell transport help us in managing particles that enters and exit our cells. That's all for today's Vita! Keep in mind that understanding cell transport corresponds to comprehending life to its most basic level. As we wrap up this chapter, continue to inquire, explore, and allow your curiosity to be